Back in the garage today. Back in the garage. Back in the garage. Back in the garage today. What's going on guys? Back in the garage today, getting ready to work on my 2008 KTM 990 Adventure. Some of you may remember about a year ago, I did a video on KTM Adventure bike fuel pumps. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it up here. Be sure to check it out. My 990 is in need of a new fuel pump because the fuel pressure is not quite right. So I'm going to go ahead and replace it tonight. I'm not using a factory OEM unit. I'm using one from Quantum Fuel Pumps. I'm going to link that down in the description below. Once again, the video I made before will kind of explain that a little bit. So let me show you what is in the box with the Quantum. I've already removed the fuel pump from my 990. Uh, as with the 1090s, 1190s, 1290s, it's on the left-hand side of the bike. I went ahead and pulled the left-hand tank off. Just makes it a little bit easier to get out. Though if you pull the uh, skid plate off. I think you can get to it without removing the tank, but it's only a few bolts. So I've already got that out of the bike. It's four bolts to pull the fuel pump out and uh, we're ready to rebuild it, which actually won't take very long. So let's head over to my tailgate, which is going to be my workbench tonight. Okay, so here's the quantum fuel pump kit. We've got the fuel pump here. These are all of our gaskets and filters we're going to need. And just so you guys are aware, 990s, 1090, 1190, 1290, they all use the same fuel pump. I'm not sure on the 790s and 890s, so be sure to double check. But this uh, pump setup has been linked below with everything. I've also linked it below if you just need the pump. And I've also got a link there if you just need the uh, gasket and filter kit. All right, so this is our factory fuel pump unit. Um, first thing we're going to do, we're going to take a screwdriver carefully. We've got to pop out these metal clips on top. Get this released. All right, we're gonna pull that top part off. There is gonna be some fuel in there, so just be careful. Now if we look in here, we can see the gasket pulled off. That's actually gonna sit back down here. We'll take care of that in a moment. We are going to disconnect our two electrical connections up top here. We've got that disconnected. Okay, so next over here on the side where this connector is, there is a Phillips screw and washer. We're gonna disconnect this, just be careful. You don't you lose the, uh, the screw or washer here. We're just gonna set that over to the side right now. Now if we look from the top here, we can see we've got a Phillips there and there. We're going to remove those next. And while we're there, we can go ahead and take this fuel pipe out while we're at it. It's held in there by an O-ring so there will be a little pressure. Now we're going to take this housing off. It's actually in two pieces. We're going to set that aside. Now this is one thing that's going to look a little different on the 1290 and 1190, 1090 newer models. There's a plastic housing that sits down here. There's not on the 990 model, so that's going to be the only difference uh, between the two. So in our case, next thing we're going to do is just lift the fuel pump out of there. And it may or may not come out with the, with the filter here. If it doesn't, you need to pull the filter out. Now down here in the bottom, there is a ceiling gasket. We're going to go ahead and pull that out of there too. Now we can move on to this top housing. All right, so back to this plastic housing. There's a couple little spots we can get in there and there. You, you'll feel it kind of click. We just need to separate this piece. Keep a little pressure on it here with your thumb. Just be careful not to break it. We just about got it apart. You'll feel that separate out and there is a little spring up here on the top so make sure you don't lose uh, that. So now that we've got it all apart we're basically ready for reassembly. So we're going to open up our gasket and filter kit over here. Looks like a Ziploc bag but whatever. We're not going to reuse any of the packaging. So we're going to get out our new filter there. We're also going to replace this o-ring around the housing. You can just pull the filter off right there. We're also going to replace this o-ring in the filter. We'll get to that in a minute, but first let's 
pull this one off make sure we've got the right one get the new o-ring put on so if we look at the three small o-rings we have here you see two of them are the same size these are the ones that are going to go on the fuel rail so this is the one that we're going to want for the new fuel filter so we're going to drop it down in place and then we're going to press the fuel filter into its place all right so with the fuel filter in place we're going to flip this upside down i'm just going to use a pair of needle nose we need to pull out this other gasket and we're going to replace it with a new one that's included in your pack which is right here press that up into place the last part of this is going to be a little hard to show but we're going to set our spring back down there's a little knob down there in the bottom we're going to set that on and then we're going to press this whole thing back together it's going to be a little tough show on camera though all right so with the top housing snapped together we're going to go ahead and pull this little cover off of our new fuel pump we're going to take our other filter and you can see you've got an opening there and one there and a little tab that's going to fit and just make sure you get that pressed on snugly And then we're going to take our new rubber piece here and we're going to get that lined up so it should sit together just like that. Okay, so next we're going to take this assembly and we are going to set it down in, make sure it's seated down in there properly. We got that set up. So now we got to get our cage back on so the small piece goes over right like that it really only goes on one way and then the larger piece is going to sit over top of it and that should line us up down here at the bottom and then we've got the two big phillips uh, screws to put back in down here okay so with the two phillips tightened down next thing we're going to do is grab our fuel rail we need to pop the o-rings off of this and replace them with a couple of new o-rings so i'm going to do that real quick off camera We've got the new O-rings mounted on and it simply just slides right down into that position right there. We're going to leave it. Now we're going to find that screw and washer we had at the beginning and we're going to reaffix it back onto this housing. Okay, so next up we need to get our electrical connections back on. The one that is grounded out is going to go on the right and the other one is going to slide down on the left. And then the last thing we need to do is get our top piece back on. So you got a couple of things. One, you got to make sure you line up this fuel rail so that that O-ring and the fuel rail go up inside this housing. And two, depending on how far apart you spread these upper clips, you might want to grab a pair of big pliers or channel locks and clip them back in a little bit because we need to make sure when we put this back on, it does click in. We can't afford to have it coming apart once we get it back in the tank. All right, so I've got mine back on there. Just make sure these clips are locked into place. Obviously, they're going to cover up your electrical connections. Make sure your fuel rail's in place. And that's it for rebuilding one of these things. All right, guys, so that is how you rebuild a fuel pump on one of the KTM 990s, 1090, 1190, 1290 models. Like I said, the 1090 to 1290, there's one little piece down there at the bottom that's a little bit different. Uh, nothing you need in the kit, just a factory piece that looks a little different, but the assembly and disassembly is exactly the same on both. You've got four bolts to put that bad boy back in there. Uh, there is a seal down around the bottom. I recommend greasing the hell out of that before putting it back in the tank because you want to make sure you get a good seal and then just get everything plugged back up, dump some fuel in her, and uh, fire it up. Should be good for many miles to come. Also, Quantum, lifetime warranty. So uh, if it ever dies on you, they're going to replace it for free. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider that subscribe button because if you like motorcycles, well, this is the place to be. If you have any questions about anything I did, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them. And as always, I'll talk to you again soon.